The hype cycle for this game compares to none I've ever seen. How crazy is it that we essentially have no more officially released information about Animal Crossing New Horizons than what we first saw at E3 last year? Even more so considering we're basically a month away from its release. But aside from a preload announcement, it's been dead silence. Let me play devil's advocate here and say that this might be a sign to keep our expectations in check when it comes to this game. It looks amazing from what we've seen, absolutely but there was always a preconceived notion that there would be more on offer than what the E3 trailer showed us. We have seen basically nothing since, so could there be a reason for that? There is basically no online marketing push for Animal Crossing New Horizons right now, except for one Nintendo Switch My Way trailer. So what if that is because there's not much more to show us, and even seeing more would ruin the small amount of surprises left? This whole situation is pretty unprecedented, so there's no way to know for sure. Personally, I don't absolutely believe that we've seen basically everything. We know for a fact there's going to be much more, but then why would Nintendo be so apprehensive about releasing new info? Well, maybe it's because there's something in the game that fans won't appreciate. We've seen images rise to the surface from New Horizons ESRB rating, which states that the game has in-game purchases. Could this mean microtransactions are coming to a console Animal Crossing game? Or does it mean we're getting paid DLC instead? If anything, I hope for the latter, but if it's the former, it would certainly explain why Nintendo hasn't info-bombed us as of yet. The decision to add microtransactions would make so many fans unhappy, myself included, and so it would make sense to keep excitement alive for as long as possible, get pre-orders in, and at that point, Nintendo already has the cash, so they can just get away with it. This would undoubtedly be a beyond scummy business move, and I think Nintendo would live to regret it dearly, but it's one of the only legitimate reasons I can think of for why we're still waiting, aside from just bad marketing. If everything is in fact great and amazing, Nintendo has frankly been doing a terrible job of conveying that to people. The game comes out in a month. A month! What other AAA release has no info come out until a month before release? Basically none. You know why? Because marketing needs time to build up that hype. Time to create that longing for the game. Nintendo hasn't created longing for Animal Crossing New Horizons right now. Nintendo has created longing for news about Animal Crossing New Horizons. Most of all, fans just want that announcement. Something to indicate that the game coming out next month is still the thing they want to buy. To know what they're actually getting into. Nintendo's been doing a great job marketing that direct, now let's just hope we get it.